With the rising number of foreigners coming into Singapore, one might ask, how does that influence Singaporeans? Will we be a melting pot of different cultures? Or will we be more like a salad bowl, where different ingredients are mixed together, but each ingredient also retains its own characteristic? It contributes to um, the entire uh, vibe and flavour, you know, vibrancy of who we are. Uh, you know, there, there are things that we can rest assured that, that there are things that are so ingrained Singaporean about us. You know, those things, you know, I think we'll always be a little bit kiasu. We'll always be a little bit competitive. <laughs> we'll always be muggers and we'll always have this, which, is, which are fine things, you know, which are fine. I mean, it, yes, there's the good, the bad and slightly ugly. But, you know, you know we, we, won't lose, we won't lose who we are. Will the Singapore spirit expand to accommodate these values? Or will the influx of foreigners only divide us all and foster an us versus them mentality? The thing is that it's, it's, we, st- we are still the majority, right? So, I mean, we, it, it won't really hurt it, but I guess it might encourage it, but it might cause division between Singaporeans and foreigners. But in terms of individual race, I don't think so. I think I was happier. Uh, we were we were happier back uh, before all these uh, uh, foreigners came. So much of them came uh, because we we lived in peace and harmony. But right now, because of the um, the increase of foreign nationals, uh, um, they bring with them uh, some kind of like identity. It kind of divides the Singaporean uh, the Singaporeans up. I look at somebody and I no longer see them as Singaporean, I see them as their race. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening now. I think they will grow to become us. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) You've heard of this um, Chinese saying, Lu Xiang Sui Su, or do as the Romans do, right? So, foreigners who have lived here long enough, you find that some of them gradually lose their accent Mm -hmm. and they take on the Singapore accent. And they, they, they start to do things our way. So perhaps the Singapore spirit is currently in flux, and only when the dust settles would we be able to see her true shape and form. I would think that national spirit is something that takes time to build up. Okay, so Singapore, in that sense, is a work in progress. Is I mean, it went a certain time uh, uh, past, you know, and a certain level of Singapore spirit has been forged. You know, I mean, Singaporeans are proud of many, many things. So, so there is this national identity which is quite. Um, uh, distinct. I think Singapore's history is too short. We haven't had any major events to bond us together. So I think the key thing is that we have to give it time and we have to actually identify a value which we think is worth fighting for. I think we want a situation where there's no corruption, there's, the system is meritocratic, so if we are poor, we can still excel. I think that we have. But I think to overemphasize economic monetary and academic success as a measure or what we value in society, I think it's a mistake. A chorus of voices, a community of individuals. While Singapore attempts to define its identity in a fast-changing landscape, new citizens are arriving on its shores every day to find new opportunities and a better way of life. PM Lee gave his definition of the Singapore spirit at a National Day rally. But it won't be surprising if that definition changes and evolves with the times.